So now let's take a look at how to customize our navigation menu. When we go to a preview of our website, we can see here at the top that our navigation menu currently has a home link, a catalog link, and a contact link. Now to customize this menu, we wanna go back to the Shopify dashboard, then go to online store and click on navigation. Now by default, we have two menus. We have the main menu, which is the one at the top and the footer menu. Let's customize the one at the top by clicking on main menu. And then here we have the menu that we have seen before. Now I don't want the home link or the catalog link. So I'm just gonna delete those links from the menu by clicking on the lead right here and then remove. And again, for the catalog, delete and remove. Now to add new links to our navigation menu, we're gonna click on add menu item. And then by clicking into this field, we can see all of the options we have. So we can either just add specific categories directly to the navigation menu, or we can even add specific products to the navigation menu, or we can add specific pages we have created, blogs if we have them. So let's start by adding our about page by going to pages and then adding the about page here, clicking add. And then I also wanna add my FAQ page, pages, FAQ and add. And now there's multiple ways how you can add your shop pages. Now for this store that has multiple categories, what I would wanna do is a link that's called shop. And then below the shop link, we have multiple sub menu links that go to the specific categories. So first let's click on add menu item here. Then let's go and click on this field and then go to products and choose all products. Now I'm gonna change the name of this link to shop so that when somebody clicks on this link, it will just go to all products. Let's click on add. Now, just to see what it now looks like, let's click on save menu and then go to our store and reload the page. And now here we can see the menu we have just created. We have the contact link, the about link, the FAQ link and the shop link. Now the next thing I wanna do is create submenus under this shop link right here. So to do that, let's go back to our dashboard and then let's click on add menu item and go into this field. And then let's click on collections and start by adding the backpacks collection. Let's click on add. And now to make this a submenu under the shop link, Let's click, hold and drag this just below a little bit to the right under the shop link like this. And then here I wanna add all of my categories. So let's click on add menu item to shop and choose collections. And let's continue with accessories and click on add. And I'm gonna do the same thing for all of the categories I want to add. So now I've added my main six categories. So let's click on save menu. Then let's take another look at our store by clicking on this eye icon here. And now we can see that the shop link is now a drop down link. So when we click on the drop down, we can see all of the categories right here as a sub menu. Now we can even further categorize our sub menu by having multiple columns right here. So maybe I wanna have the first column just for my categories and then for my specific categories, I wanna have a separate column. So to do that, let's go back to our dashboard and then let's scroll down and click on add menu item. I'm gonna call this one categories and just click on add and then choose collections, all collections and then click on add. And now I wanna drag this as a sub menu to the shop page, but now I wanna drag all of these collection pages as a sub menu of the categories menu. So let's just drag this right here to the right and this as well. And there we go. Now we have three levels. We have the first one, which is the shop link. Then we have the categories link. And then as a sub menu of this sub menu, we have all of those categories. So again, let's click on save and see what it looks like by going to the preview icon here. And now when we click on the shop dropdown menu, 
we can see we have a title here called categories and then we have all of our different categories below this submenu. Now we can also add multiple columns right here. So to do that, let's go back here. Then let's add a new menu item to the shop link by clicking here. Then I'm gonna choose collections and all collections again and change the name to discover. Click on add. And now I wanna add my special categories in this discover category. So let's click on add here. And then I'm gonna go to collections and I'm gonna choose the new arrivals first, add. I'm gonna also choose the best sellers and then also the protective category. Now to make this a sublink for under discover, let's just drag this to the right here. There we go. Now let's click on save menu. Now, before we take a look at what it looks like, I wanna add one more column for some feature products. So let's click on add menu item again, go here. And now I'm just gonna go with products, all products. And here I'm gonna name this featured click on add. And now here for this column, I'm gonna add some feature products. So here let's click on add, go to products. And maybe we wanna feature this product here, add, and then maybe one more, maybe this one. And now again, we wanna just drag these products under the featured category and click on save. Now let's check out our menu by going to the eye icon once again, then going to the shop link. And now we have three columns. We have our categories right here. We have our special categories like the new arrivals, bestsellers and so on. And then we also have some feature products all below our shop link. Now, the only thing I wanna do is change the order of these links. So let's go back to the dashboard and I wanna start with the shop link. So I'm gonna drag this all the way to the top. Then I wanna have about, then FAQ, and then contact. So now that's it, let's click on save menu. Now let's see our final menu by clicking on the eye icon once again. And now we have the correct order with the shop link right here, the about link, the FAQ link, and the contact link.